Hi, I'm Brian Uchano, and I'm going to make for you today a ginger cosmopolitan. Now, ginger is a great root. Just get yourself a shaker, small one since it's just going to be one drink, a couple little pieces of fresh, really fresh ginger, and about half ounce of lemon juice. Then you're just going to muddle that up to release all those oils in the ginger. Let's get all those flavors mixed together. Mmm, it smells so good. So then, you put lots of ice in there. Ice. Then I'm going to add about two and a half ounces to three ounces of gin. And about a half ounce of triple sec. And about an ounce of good organic cranberry juice. And then you give this a really good shake. Nice martini glass has been chilled in the freezer. Good shake. So then I'm going to double strain to get all those little pieces of ginger out. And then for the garnish on this, what I'm going to do is flame an orange. So I'm just going to take a nice little strip of uh, orange peel right here that uh, you don't want to have any pith on it. The pith is the white part, and uh, which you see here. And you want to have as little as possible because it can be slightly bitter in taste. So what I'm going to do is just heat it up and then squeeze it so all the essential oils of the zest are going to shoot over the drink and they're going to caramelize. It's going to be really rich and really great flavors. You see those oils kind of made a spark there a little bit. Just kind of squeeze it and drop it in the drink. And there you have it. Perfect ginger cosmopolitan. Enjoy. So I can't help it. <clears throat> I uh, I gotta talk about it. It's just it is so good. The ginger just really complements those all the other orange and cranberry flavors just very nicely, along with the really a good botanical backdrop with the gin. And it's just so nicely balanced. It's just wonderful. That is so good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's not. It's a very, it's a pretty simple drink to make. And uh, Cosmopolitan is the modern day classic. It was, I think, it was like the first of the Neotinis, which were the martinis that are don't represent the mar the, the original martini in uh, color or or taste or anything but just by the drinkware that they're served in the glass and uh, you get all kinds of <clears throat> lots of different 
that are called martinis now even like dessert type drinks like a Bailey's chocolate teeny something like that and someone just came in the door that's my brother I'm filming right now and he just came in the door